Hey, how are you? It's Cal Koza. Welcome back to another episode here in our free to play series. This is episode 12. This is sort of going to be a checkpoint episode, I, like a summary one. I know I said I was going to do a money making guide, but I thought I'd summarize everything that we've done first and then do a money making guide uh, at episode 13. Okay, so the skills tab I've got up now, I thought I'd just tell uh, tell you where I've got all these skills from, where I got all the levels from. If you don't want to watch that, go and watch my other videos, because all these skills here I got in my other videos, as well as doing a lot of quests and a lot of tasks. Okay, so 20 attack, strength, defense, range, mage, and 26 constitution. I got all of those up at the trolls in Birthrope. I got my prayer up to 21 at the nexus in Lumbridge. I got my mining to 23 by mining tin and copper originally, and then once I hit level 15, I mined iron. Using the tin and copper and iron that I mined, oh no, not so much iron actually, I used the tin and copper to smelt bronze and then smelted the or smith of bronze into sort of swords and stuff to get my smithing to 23. Crafting, uh, I got that to 22 by uh, using the barbarian village, which is just uh, west, I think, of the Grand Exchange. Uh, and I was just mining clay, molding it into pots, urns, bowls, that sort of thing. Fishing and cooking I got up at the same time by net fishing at Lumbridge Swamp and then cooking all the fish that I got. Fire making and wood cutting I also did at the same time. I got my wood cutting to 21 by uh, chopping normal logs all the way to level 15. Then I chopped oak logs and then I burned all those logs. Uh, room crafting, right. I've put quite a few XP lamps into this because it's kind of boring to get up. But uh, I basically got that to 24 by doing room span as well as doing a couple of just random tasks. I am going to be demonstrating room span in this video, so don't worry if you don't know what that is. Uh, and I got my dungeoneering to 23 by, well, dungeoneering. Okay, so we've got uh, a bit of an episode plan here. We're, we are going to get all, or most of our skills anyway, to level 30, so there's some important ones. I'm going to do a quick money making guide just so you can get around about 20, 40k, because that's going to help us in the next episode. Once I've done that, I'm going to do a brief quest and show uh, show off some rewards and XP that I get from that. Uh, and as well, I'm going to show off a task that you may not have known existed before or hasn't, or I haven't seen mentioned uh, on a lot of uh, YouTube videos that are, go on about how to do tasks and stuff. Okay, so uh, I'm going to head to uh, Birth. Okay, welcome back. We are at Birthrope now, just north of the, uh, the lodestone here. We're about to train on some trolls that are in this dungeon here. Remember, the dungeon is quite crowded, so you may have two hop worlds. I'm going to do my melee skills first. I might only do attack because uh, that gives us the next sort of tier of weapons. Uh, but don't, also don't forget to set your task bar up. If you want to uh, see me killing these or want to know like an efficient way to kill them, I have got a video on that. It's uh, I think it's episode 8 or 9. But yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll get my attack to 30. I'm going to get my defense to 30 as well, I think. Uh, and I will be right back. Okay guys, welcome back here. I am just about to get level 30 attack. Which is really nice. That did take a lot longer than I thought. I kind of forget or uh, underestimate how long it takes, you know, because you have to run to the monster, whereas with range and mage, you just stand still and attack them. Based on how long that just took, I'm not going to get my strength and defense up in this video anyway. But I was just using the same method as, you know, I was using the north room, then going to the west room and just bouncing back and forth. That, that is the quickest way to do it. You could also world hop, but that's the way I just chose to do it. So, based because of that, we are now going to do a non-combat skill just to mix things up. Don't just do combat all in one go, can get a bit tedious. So at the Barbarian Village, if you don't know where this is, go and watch my previous videos, I'll show you how to use this area. <coughs> uh, just uh, north of Drainer, south of Edgeville, they're probably the quickest ways to it. You need to mine a full inventory of clay. Uh, we're going to get our crafting to 35 here by doing this method. So once you've got a full inventory of clay, go to the well. You're going to soften all the clay so you can mould it. Once you've uh, moulded it, you need to go to the potter's wheel. And then you need to work out, which, based on your level, which urn is going to give you the best XP uh, by using this little cycle through thing here that I'm doing. So you can see that they all give pretty similar amounts. Now because you, you require like two clay, uh, per urn, you've got to divide the XP that it gives you for moulding it by two to get the XP per clay. So I think the best one at the moment for me is Fragile Smithing Urn, so I'll probably be doing them. Bowls do give the best um, XP per clay, but you've got to fire all of them and it gets a bit slow. So you can do that if you want. Um, yeah, but I'm going to do the Fragile Smithing Urns. Okay. 
Okay, so from my level to level 26, I'll be doing fragile smithing urns. From level 26 to 32, I'll be doing the accursed urns. From level 32 to 35, I will be doing the mining urns. Once you get to the mining urns, you get like 900 XP per inventory, so it really does um, speed up. I'll just demonstrate what to do here. Um, make sure you're using the quick drop method as well. If you're a low mining level, you can actually mine and drop at the same time, which is really nice. That's going to speed things up as well. Uh, don't forget, once you've molded your urns to fire them, don't just mold them and forget to do that, because it'll waste a load of XP. But yeah, I'm going to probably do this for a while. I hope this doesn't take too long. I th it's, in my head, I've got it. It'll take like 30 minutes because it, it speeds up as you get uh, get to a higher level. But also, this is free. You can always buy the clay and do this near a bank. Okay, looks like I'm about to get level 35 here uh, doing the mining as You can see those in the bottom right of my screen. I'll probably finish off this inventory, you know, like uh, fire them and whatnot. Right, so the next thing we are going to be getting up is our rune crafting. We'll be getting that to level 35. That unlocks the double fire runes, and at the moment, fire runes I think are about 100 GP per rune. So that's a massive money maker right there. So let's um, let's have a look at where we are on the map. So south from the drain or lodestone. Then you're going to need to ascend all these beams uh, all the way to the top. You can choose the top floor option here. And then top floor option, and all the top floor option. Okay, so if you've never been to the rune spam before, I'll just quickly show you how it works. You don't have to talk to anyone, you just go through this green portal here. Once inside this green portal, you need essence to start off with, so collect some floating essence. To get more of this essence, essence, so you don't have to keep coming and clicking this, what you do is you siphon these esslings, and they give you some essence as well as some runes. So when you see here, um, you get some XP. Uh, that was like an unsuccessful siphon, but that was a successful siphon. So we got one air rune, two air runes. And what happens is as you get more uh, runes here, like air runes, fire runes, water runes, your points go up, and then you can trade those in for prizes. So it's like a win-win. You get XP and you get points as well. Siphoning a water essling. Now, once you get to a certain level, you can actually go to the next floor. Uh, uh, so you need to be able to use these platforms, but you see how the platform has a symbol? So we need air runes to actually use this platform to get to the next side. Next thing I want to talk about is these, uh, what they call, like, tornado looking things. There's loads of different ones. So this, the cyclone is air runes. There's, uh, there's like mind storms that give you mind runes. There's like fire tornadoes that give you fire runes. They're scattered out all over. I think on this first island though you can only get cyclones and mine storms, but make sure you uh, use them because they're probably the best XP, but they don't give you any rune essence, so you have to keep collecting or keep coming back to the Esslings. Right, now that you understand that, I'm going to probably get to, I think, level 30, uh, level 30 here, and then see if, um, see if I can move to the next floor. Uh, as you can see here, I'm not quite level 30 or 35 yet, uh, you can see this little symbol that comes up here, there's a wizard calling you, so you need to find this yellow wizard, they can be pretty much on any island, uh, but however the blue wizards, if you speak to them, they'll give you some sort of direction as to where the person is. So what you do is you talk to the wizard, uh, and then best rune, if you've got the runes, yep, I'm going to give him all my water runes, so use the water runes on him, thank you for the help, and he gave me a load of bonus XP. Okay, just grab 30 craft, uh, rune craft in here. So uh, now what we can do is use this vine ladder, which is located on this floor here. So it's right next to the one that you spawn in. And we can go to the next tier. Okay, so on this floor, there's a, as you can see, it's a lot, lot different. Um, there's more uh, things on here that give you better XP. For example, these fleshy growths. Will be, I'll probably be doing them 235. Uh, I think vines spawn up here more often. Uh, other than that, yeah, I'll see you uh, in a minute when I am um, level 35. Right, just about to grab level 35 rune crafting here uh, on the fleshy grip on the s second floor of the rune span, and there we go. Target complete. So we're going to move on now. Uh, we've done uh, a skill in one and a combat one, so we'll move back to a combat one. We're going to be doing range. So I'm going to get my range to level 30 uh, at trolls. 
um, which is in Birthrope, so I will head there now, I'll give a quick intro to it, just explain some stuff, and I will be, yeah, right back. Right, welcome back here, guys, we are at the entrance to Trolls, just northwest of the Birthrope Lodestone here. We're going to be getting our range to 30, so we can wield the next tier of ranged weapons. Don't forget in your combat settings, F4 uh, is the hotkey to open it to only keep it on range because otherwise it'll take a while uh, to get your range and defense up. We'll do defense uh, and strength some other day because uh, for now armor's not too important. But yeah, I'll get 30 range. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. About to grab 30 range here. Um, one, the one thing that I really wanted to mention uh, with this um, range training here is that I'm purely training on these troll shamans. So what I do is once I kill everything in a room, I uh, hop worlds. And I just keep bouncing between two kind of low populated worlds. Um, and you'll notice in my inventory as well is that I, um, I've got quite a few of these air staffs here. They're worth 1.6k each. Now, that is, that's, that, that's like a lot of money to start off with. Um, so just getting from level 20 to 30 range has got me uh, one, how many is that? What, 16, 17 of these staffs, which if you look on our price checker here and deposit everything, minus, so that's about 20, 25k we've got right there. Uh, that's that's a, that's a lot of money. Bearing in mind, this only took me, I think, what, 40 minutes. What I do is I kill them all, press escape, hop worlds, go to another populated world, and then uh, just kill all them, kill all these again. Yeah. So that is 17 battle staffs, 40 minutes. So 20k, 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, on these troll shots. Okay, so we're going to be doing uh, fishing and cooking next. So I'm going to make a load of these fishing urns. Cooking goes up really quick. Uh, so there's no point in making any cooking urns, so I'm going to fire them up, remember to activate them with a water room, so you're going to have to get a couple from either the G or the magic shop in Barok or Port Sarim I think. Yeah, activate all them. Right guys, um, I actually changed my mind here, I decided to go and catch these crayfish at uh, Tavoli. If I press M on my map here, I should be able to see where I am. But what basically what all I'm doing is I am... Um, fishing them there, grabbing this log here, and then cooking them. So as long as you cook everything you catch, your cooking level should go up with your fishing level. But also what I'm doing that's sort of making this uh, quite efficient is that I'm coming back here. So see how everything is cooked or burned? So I can start fishing again, but also I think I've shown this off before as the fast drop method. We can right click the, um, the top, top corner here and drop, and you can spam right click, left click. Um, like this and drop everything whilst uh, fishing the crayfish still so that's going to speed things up massively um, I will be here until level 20 just catching crayfish then cooking once we get to level 20 we are going to move on to trout which I think requires feathers so we'll have to go and get some feathers from a fishing shop we'll be going there by the barbarian village to catch some trout it's got trees as well so we can cook as we go and then hopefully we can get both of our fishing and cooking up Okay, just grabbed level 30 cooking here. Uh, that went up really, really quick actually. Cooking these uh, trouts gives it like 70, 80 experience uh, per one, which is really good. But also, if I haven't mentioned already, um, when you activate the urn with a water room, let's say we activated this fishing urn with a water room, when you fish, it fills up. I don't think I've mentioned this already. Once it gets full, you then teleport it away for bonus experience. So I will do that. Um, uh, I'll do that right now actually, just show you. Oh yeah, we got grabbed the level there, it's 29. So I'm nearly level 30 fishing. So maybe on this next run here, I'll be done. So I'll see you then. Just got 30 uh, fishing there. I think I'm going to finish off this and see what level we get in cooking. May as well whilst I've got all this. Might even keep some of the trout for some combat stuff. But that actually was really quick. I think that took, I think it was less than half an hour. Uh, using the fishing guns as well. So I'll finish this off here. So welcome back here guys, um, we are going to be training our magic to level 32 here on these troll shamans again in, again in this eastern room. Uh, I'm going to be doing the hop world uh, method so that I can maximize my chance of getting those air staffs. Uh, 1.6k per is really nice. Now I'm going to time this, so I'll say we're starting at around 7.55. Uh, I'll see how long it takes me to get to 30 and then I'll see how many staffs I get in that time. Okay, I'll see you when I'm level 32. Okay, welcome back guys. Just about to grab level 30 mage here. Now it looks like I haven't actually got that many uh, staff of airs, you know, the 1.6k uh, ones. 
but I actually had got so many I had to do a banking run so I've got the 28 in my um, inventory that I had to bank we've got the 17 from uh, the range I had to bank and then we've got the two here okay as it turns out we've got 47 stuff of there so that's from getting my mage from 20 to 30 uh, and that's from getting my range from 20 to 30 so we started at about 755 it's now 827 including the banking run uh, so that's what 30 minutes 32 minutes that's not too bad actually so let's um let's withdraw all of these and price check to see how much money we have made today the money that we've made uh, right now so 76k or about more like 70k uh, is actually really important because we're gonna be using that in the money making episode we're gonna have to you gotta like spend money to make money uh, a bit on this game so you can look forward to that make sure you keep hold of that 76k or sell it or whatever but now we're going to move on to mining and smithing. So we'll be doing our mining first. We can make the mining urns. I've already collected a couple, I think, or maybe not. I'll have to go make some. Remember, it's at the Barbarian Outpost. That's where I make most of them. Activate with an earth rune from uh, the Varrock Magic Shop. Uh, yeah, I'll be mining iron in the Dwarven Mine. I'll see you there. Okay, guys. Uh, just thought I'd mention this, just in case you didn't know. Uh, I just found out that you can run from this fellow the Lodestone here, just through to here. Uh, I don't know, it's probably not quicker, I don't know, but it gets you uh, straight away to like where the location is. So once you get to this little house here, you want to climb down these stairs. And then the mining bit that you need is just there. Uh, I'm just going to show off for the... Right, so here is the King Scorpion. If you're like a low level, like I am, uh, he is going to attack you. But we've got if you've got 30 attack like I have, you shouldn't have too much trouble killing him. Okay. I'm going to get to 31 mining, that unlocks the next tier of uh, pickaxe I think, let's have a look, yeah, 31 is the adamant pickaxe so we can go and buy that straight away, so make sure you have some money with you. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I thought I'd just quickly demonstrate um, what to do when your inventory gets full. If you've been following this series from episode 1, you should really have like 20, 23 Dungeoneering like I have. If you haven't and you're like level 1 Dungeoneering and you've got no idea what to do with Dungeoneering, go check out my videos from episode 1 I think through to like 7, I get my Dungeoneering up. But there's a, there are some daily challenges in there and they do give a lot of XP. So once you get to uh, level 15 Dungeoneering, you can use this mysterious entrance here. You want to click on that once you've got a full inventory. It's going to take you through to here. You should get, um, if it's your first time going through, you'll get like an XP bonus. And then you can use this deposit bank box, right? Click on that. You want to, don't click that because that will deposit everything and then you'll lose your mining earns. You want to right click and deposit all iron ore. Click that. Exit the mysterious runes and then go again. We need to save this iron ore really because um, uh, once we get to level 30, we can use the artisan workshop and then uh, that's going to get our smithing up loads. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. I'll see you when I'm level 31 mining. Hey, welcome back here guys. Just about to grab uh, 31 mining here. I think I'm just going to finish off my urn and then I'm going to head up to uh, the pickaxe factory to buy myself an adamant pickaxe. Once you hit level 31, make sure you have some money with you. Okay guys, just heading to the uh, pickaxe shop now. We are going to trade Nerm off here. Uh, Adam and Pickaxe, 3.2k, right, so make sure you've got like 3.2k with you, so we're going to buy that, and add that to the tool belt there, Sm right, great, okay, next thing on the agenda is Smith, guys, welcome back here, I decided not to go to the GE, because I noticed in my bank that, you know, I've been uh, banking the iron ore, uh, that might be just enough uh, with the urns as well, but because it's only like a 50%, or is it 30%, I don't know, 50% like success rate of um, actually smelting the iron properly uh, at a lower level it may not be enough but just in the case that it isn't we can always go to the G and buy if not you can always go back to the um, uh, like the dwarven mine and just mine more iron and do the banking thing again as long as you've got 15 dungeoneering and 15 mining so I'm gonna start smelting this now at the Lumbridge furnace I'll get as high as I can if I don't get high enough I'll show me at the G buying uh, a couple uh, more pieces of iron ore. Alright, in a bit. Hey guys, uh, welcome back here. I I, say, I don't know why, but I thought that would get me close to 30. It got me absolutely nowhere near 30. It got me to level 24. Basically level 25. So, make sure you keep your iron bars. They're worth about double the iron ore. So what you can actually do is smelt the iron uh, and then sell the iron bars back. 
don't smith do not smith the iron bars can't stress that enough so we're going to go to the exchange clerk here i'm not sure if they'll sell straight away for 600 dxp is on the horizon so all the prices are going to get a bit uh i don't know weird uh, but we'll sell all them Let's see how much we get okay sold straight away and yep sold for just over by the looks of things we check our history each one sold for about 618 so that's really good right so we sold 91 so we can probably buy 182 up i'm gonna buy a little bit more because i don't think i'm gonna get anywhere near level 30 with that i'm actually gonna buy uh tw what's the, let's see this 27 uh times 10 times 2 so that's 540 i'm gonna buy 540 iron ore here my thing let me type iron ore there we go, I'm going to need 540 of, of that. Right, I'm going to bump the price up 5 but then take it down like that. Might not buy straight away because people will start um, putting the price up as it is DXP, they know they can get a little bit more for it. But uh, I'll confirm that and see how quickly that does. Okay, welcome back. If you've been following me for a while, you should have around about 200k, so buying like 500 ore like this shouldn't be a problem. And as well, uh, it, it's like ore you smelt is a profit. The only problem is you only have like I think a 60% chance of smelting the iron ore into an iron bar. I'll just say it one more time, do not <laughs> uh, smith the iron bars. Make sure that you keep them, bank them here, and then we can sell them back at the GE. Also, make sure you've got your urn with you. Mine currently is at 41%. If it fills up halfway through smelting, go and change it out. Like, don't just smelt everything because you can um, you can really save a lot of money and time by using the urns uh, efficiently. So I'm going to smelt all this. Uh, it'll probably take me like 10 minutes or something. Uh, I'll be right back and we'll see what level that's got. Guys, welcome back. Uh, that actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I'm just about to get 30 smithing here, which will unlock Artisan's Workshop. I can't stress enough how useful it is to have these smelting urns. Make sure you do go to the Barbarian uh, Village to get them or buy them. Also, I had to make another trip to the GE to buy more iron ore, so I had to sell my iron bars to uh, to afford that. So in total, I think I used about 240 iron ores to get from 22, or was it 23 to 30? Which I means quite a lot, but I guess I've made the money back. And what you should notice is as you get uh, get higher level get to a high level in smithing you can make more iron bars per sort of inventory so you make more money per inventory or make your money back at least hey guys welcome back to this last bit here i am at the ge so i'm just going to show you some stuff so if you go on the history here you can see that we bought 45k of iron there and about 172k so that's about 210k uh worth of iron ore in total but the iron bars that we made that we sold back we made 260 2k 264k so that's a profit of about 60 50k which is really nice so we've made 50k there if you've been following that also we have our staff of airs that we need to sell so i'm going to put them on right now uh, i'll drop it by five and then see how well they sell okay they're not selling right now but they probably will sell like they, they usually sell really quickly but anyway we're gonna have to wrap things up here thank you very much for watching remember next episode is a money making episode so uh, make sure you save a bit of cash because you've got to spend money to make money and yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time